Welcome back to Motorblade, everyone. Today I'm putting the Ninja through her paces on some twisties up here in Vermont. I mean, it's not quite Tail of the Dragon, but it's got some hills involved with the U-turns. So that's kind of nice. Got a couple of hairpins. And my dad is set up further up on the road I'm turning around down here and we're gonna head back up and he's gonna shoot some pictures of me. So it should be a fun afternoon, get some cool videos and cool pictures. If y'all don't know where this is, this is the App Gap or Appalachian Gap on Highway 17 in Vermont. Really pretty roads. Got some really tight, good twisties here. There are lots of fun to rock on a bike. Came through here the other week on the Chieftain, but it's not quite the same. Can't lean the Chieftain over nearly as far. head back down here and turn around again give him an opportunity to get plenty of photographs I am a little bit hesitant to go a little faster through these turns up here today because we had a lot of rain last night and in some of the turns it is still very wet And even in some of the straightaways, it's still wet, so my tires are not 100% dry. And if I'm gonna lean this thing all the way over, I want 100% dry contact. This bike just eats up the curves. So my dad has hopped back in the chase car and we're going to ride up to the top of the gap here and get some lunch. There's a motor home. It's a little tight. If I remember correctly, this might be the tightest one of all. That's what she said! Oh yeah. Ooh. We need 
to fix a few of the bumps in here. I guess the winter kind of wreaked havoc on this road. This is probably one of the prettiest drives in the entire state of Vermont. This Highway 17 from one side of the mountains to the other. It just winds up behind Mad River Glen. Just in case while you're wondering why I'm not pushing through here harder and faster, it's because I'm slowing down. We're gonna have lunch right here. And there comes Dad in the Chase Subaru. That's a really nice drive. Yeah. All right, we've had a quick lunch. Now we're headed down. You good? So now we're headed down the east side of 17. We're gonna pass by Mad River Glen up here. Ski resort. In my opinion, this side is not quite as scenic. All right, I was having a few issues with the GoPro, but I think it's straightened out now. I think it's on. But this is the east side of 17. Not as many twists and turns. Also, lots of really crappy roadway like that. Lots of bumps. Lots of torn up sections, definitely not the spot that you want to play around on. Oh, really, really bad roadway over here on this side of the mountain. Oh, really bad. That 60 seconds of video that I just shot and cut out of the video, I cut it out because it was worthless. So many bumps, so many potholes, I couldn't even keep my voice straight. So, yeah, really bad on Highway 17 here on the east side. But we're going to head up now to uh, Stowe. We're going to take 100 up there and then go through Smuggler's Notch. And Smuggler's Notch is really tight, really twisty. You have a notch right between like two boulders that's a hairpin turn. It's like one vehicle through at a time. So it should be pretty fun to take the Ninja through. I've done it several times on the Chieftain. It is a little nerve-wracking on the Chieftain because you don't know if someone's coming behind that boulder. And they should be going really slow, but, you know, morons don't always follow the rules. But on the Ninja, I think it'll be a lot easier because even if there was a full car going through that gap, you could still squeeze the Ninja through there. So I'm going to jump ahead here in the video, and when I come back, we will be ready to head through Smuggler's Notch. All right, we've made it up to Stowe, and we're headed up the mountain road. Unfortunately, where we're headed is right there into what looks like a massive rainstorm. So I may have to pull over up here at the state park and find some shelter for a few minutes until that storm passes. It was not supposed to rain today, so they lied about that. Ah, crap, there comes the rain. I just got hit with some raindrops. Oh, this is going to get wet real quick. That's what she said. Oh, I have a feeling I'm about to get soaking wet and not in a fun way. Oh, balls, here it comes. I thought Dad might pull up behind me in the chase car, but... I think he got stuck way behind me after some uh, pickup truck pulled out in front of him that decided he was going to do like 10 miles an hour. Because so I could just pull over in a parking lot somewhere and hop in the chase car with him. But I have no idea where he is. Oh, it's getting harder. Yeah, that rain's definitely getting harder. I 
I guess my rain axe work I did on the windshield was uh, pretty good. It's beating up and coming off the windshield nicely. And all the wax I put on here, a couple coats of mother's ceramic wax on the paint. All the water's beating up really nice. Nitro closed today, 8.30 a... What the hell? That's a nice view right up the hill, straight up the octagon. Snow. You see snow? Where? Oh yeah, a couple patches still left up there on top of the hill. First week of June. Now we gotta go back to the village. Yeah, you'd think they would put a sign further down the road saying, hey, the road's closed up ahead. Wait till you get all the way up here, tell you the notch road's closed. Well, they're probably removing that boulder I told you came down in there the other day. When I went through, a boulder had fallen out of place and was laying halfway across the road. One of the big ones, like the truck size ones. On the side? No, coming down this side. So I guess they're working on that. But yeah, it would have been nice if they told us that further back. Okay. All right. So back down and then up through Morrisville. So I got soaking wet for nothing. Yeah. Okay. No one coming. Let's rock. Well, I'll have to do a second video where I come back down and go through Smuggler's Notch on a day when it's not under construction and the road's closed. So I think I'll just end up cutting this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, taking the Ninja out for a few hits in the twisties. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's a big red button. Click the bell icon next to it. That will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. I like hearing from you guys, and I like incorporating your suggestions into future videos if I can. And as always, you guys know what to do out there. Please be careful. Ride safe. Ride on. I'll catch all of you later. Deuces.